Hi, I'm Matt, and today I'm going to show you how to use uh, software instruments that are on your iPad, such as the Moog Model D, uh, which you may have got for free during the lockdown, like I did. Uh, they made it available for free when uh, we went into lockdown to encourage people to use their, uh, their apps, which is really cool of them. Thank you. And we're going to use that as a plugin in Logic. Now to get the sounds from the iPad to Logic. Okay, let's go. So the first thing you want to do is connect your iPad to your Mac uh, via USB lead. That's pretty important. Uh, you can do it by Wi-Fi, but uh, I find using the uh, USB much lower latency, much better performance. So that's the way I'm going to do it. And then we go up to the uh, little uh, magnifying glass um, for the Mac and search for something called Audio MIDI Setup. Load that up. And we're going to see a lot of gump in here. So ignore this. Mostly, uh, we want to see the iPad in here. And it's if we're going to say enable or disable, you want to enable it. And then it's going to come up there. That's all you need to do for there. So close that. Back into Logic. And we're going to go on to audio preferences by default uh, the input setting is probably going to be as sort of like system setting I'll we'll change that to the iPad don't need to worry about output just make sure the input input device is iPad and then click apply Right, so now on the logic, we're going to want to go a new external MIDI track. Put some notes in there. It's just a really quick, easy lead line. So that's going to send the MIDI notes from logic to the iPad. What's important here is to remember, let's go to here. MIDI out channel, set it to one, most likely. You're gonna to want to change that to one, okay? And then uh, on the iPad, in the app, go to cog for settings. And this kind of approach will work in most apps. Um, there'll be a similar kind of thing and settings somewhere in the MIDI settings Look for MIDI host input channel one. Set to any any channel you want as long as it matches the MIDI channel we set there. So in this instance one. And I'm going to set the output channel to one. Doesn't matter if it's the same uh, as the MIDI, because this is concerned with audio rather than MIDI. So I'm going to set that to one. I'm going to show you why in just a sec. MIDI host, channel 1, output 1. I'm going to close that. Okay, cool. Then back in Logic, we want an audio, input, input 1. And probably going to want to turn on the input monitoring. And then when you play on the iPad, you're going to start hearing your uh, audio from the iPad. It's no wonder plus play. It's going to play these MIDI notes and bring back the audio into this channel here, like this. This is as easy as that. So 
so when you want to record that we have to let's press record and there you go there's your audio from your iPad and then you can get rid of that or hide it or keep it for later do whatever you want with it important thing is now you've got that audio to um, do any extra effects like reverb delay you can put filters on it anything you want just treat it like you would any other audio any other audio file cool i hope this has helped uh let me know if any questions or comments down below and i'll see you next time take care